Hello, this is Gemma from the Race of Education team. Uh, we're going to be giving you lots of tips about how to keep your pets healthy and happy over this period of isolation. We're going to be spending a lot more time with them and uh, they're going to be really enjoying it. Um, I want to introduce you to my cat who's going to be featuring in a lot of our films, if I can uh, tempt him over. He is uh, called Egbert and he's a race dead cat, so I adopted him 10 years ago. Uh, when I first started um, teaching at Raystead. I'm going to see if I can tempt him up onto my lap to meet you. Here he is. Hey Egg, say hello. This is my little buddy Egbert. He's a Raystead cat. He, he was adopted by me 10 years ago. Uh, he had been found in a field at just two weeks old uh, with severe cat flu. Somebody brought him in um, it was a retired vet actually who came in uh, to Raystead with a little box and they said um, they probably gave the, the kitten maybe 50-50 chance of, of making it. He really was very poorly um, and very hungry. So the Raystead Cattery team stepped in and hand reared Egbert um, and he came back to my house to be fostered uh, because I didn't have any pets at the time and uh, I fell for Egbert completely. So um, he lives with me now um, and I adopted him 10 years ago. And since then I've had two children who he lives with very happily. They love him um, and Egbert absolutely loves living with uh, the children. They love living with him. This beautiful pair are Harry and Coco. Coco is on the left, Harry is on the right. As you can see, they are currently enjoying a snooze. This pair of cats are brother and sister and I adopted them from Raystead in 2014. Uh, they unfortunately came in as a result of their previous owner having passed away, which is quite a common reason for animals coming into Raystead. They had never lived with uh, children or dogs um, and were particularly nervous cats. They struggled quite a bit to settle into the cattery so I was quite keen to bring them home and felt that I could offer them hopefully the perfect home um, because I don't have any children or any other pets. It's just myself and my partner and it did take a long time to settle them in. They are still very nervous and if they hear next door's dog barking they will run upstairs and hide under the bed. But as you can see they have relaxed into the role and they are my babies. Uh, they're 12 years old so they are both classed as senior cats um, but hopefully I've got many more years with them and believe it or not although they do sleep a lot they do also get up to some fun and games which hopefully you will be witnessing in some of our films that we're going to be making over the next few weeks. Meet Snowfy and Oliver. Oliver is on the left, so he is white with grey patches and Snowfy is on the right, black and white. As we can see, they're both enjoying their breakfast, munching on, on their favourite leafy greens. Snowfy and Oliver are both Netherland dwarfs and they are best friends. They spend every minute of their day together, so snuggling next to each other, exploring their home and garden and of course getting into mischief.
We welcomed Oliver to our family four years ago because Snowfy needed a friend and was very lonely. Oliver is an ex Raystead rabbit and he was brought to Raystead because his uh, previous owner was no longer able to look after him. We didn't have much experience with bonding rabbits so we've decided to use Raystead bonding service which is like speed dating for rabbits. We brought Snowfy to Raystead and by the end of the week they were in love. It was most definitely love on first sight and we were over the moon. They are an amazing addition to our family and bring lots of personality to our home. We can't imagine our lives without them. Thank you.